I'm Paul Rodelavich from Synergy Electrical Sales. Today I'm going to cover some vacancy sensing equipment basics. Vacancy sensing is an important part of lighting controls because it saves a lot of energy. I'm going to cover what that means and show you the equipment, the basic layout of the equipment and the choices that you have available uh, for your projects. So what is vacancy sensing? Well, it's lighting control equipment built or programmed in a way that requires the push of a switch to turn lights on and a sensor that turns lights off automatically if someone forgets to turn them off. So that's what we have for that vacancy setting, either built in the equipment or programmed to do that. All right, so what is not? Well, local control, that's something different that we see in the energy code. Local control means the ability to turn lights off in a space. It doesn't mean what happens when you walk into the space. Uh, a vacancy sen setting requires that you have to use a switch, but local control could mean an area uh, like a bathroom, for example, the lights come on automatically with a sensor. However, you have the ability, that local control ability with the sensor to turn it off. So it's not that. Um, one of the other questions that we get sometimes is relating to automatic shutoff. So let me go over that because that's different than vacancy sensing. All right, so automatic shutoff. I've been in the lighting control industry for 10 years, saw this in, in place a few years ago to turn lights off, but I'm gonna show you the way it works and you'll see why it does not meet that vacancy setting. So we have our line voltage in and a power pack and our motion sensor. So when we sense motion, it energizes through to here and then our switch turns the lights on and off after that. It doesn't comply with the vacancy because if that switch is in the on position and this room senses motion, it would turn the lights on. Again, vacancy, have to use the switch to turn the lights on in every case. So the easiest way to comply with that vacancy setting is with an in-wall motion sensor. Simple, line voltage in, you have our sensor and switch combined here, and we have line voltage out to the lights works for rooms 15 feet by 15 feet or less. Small offices, private offices, break rooms. Easiest way to do it is with this. Okay, so if our room is larger than 15 feet by 15 feet, we're gonna need to do a ceiling sensor. And this is the way that we can accomplish that vacancy setting with a momentary switch. So we have line voltage into our power pack. Again, we have our motion sensor, but for the lights to come on, we just have a simple momentary switch here. We hit the momentary switch, lights go on. So that setting, it works fine, but some challenges with this setup could be if we have multiple sensors, multiple switch locations, or if we have dimming in the scenario. So this works, but only when it's set up exactly like this. All right, so if the momentary switch, if you have a more complicated installation, then what's next can be helpful is uh, a smart power pack that we can use to accomplish the vacancy sensing. So again, we have our line voltage in to what I'm calling our smart power pack. Now, I didn't connect the lines because we have a combination of systems that use wireless and wired communications. So uh, I work with the Lutron equipment a lot. They've, they have their Vive components, which are wireless. So we have our power pack here, wireless sensor. But nevertheless, if you might have a low voltage to here and then a low voltage to there. So that's the simple setup with it. I put the word system down here because um, again, we don't wanna make it more complicated than it needs to be, but we would have different options. So we could put them in a family with a system, meaning that that system may offer a, a switching power pack for just on off vacancy setting, or they might have a different power pack in that family which does dimming, but it'll be the same setup as well. And then the nice thing about the system or even that wireless part is let's say we had two switches, right? Two power packs, we can do multiple locations. So again, that's the other way that we can accomplish that setting. Using the smart power packs helpful because you may have rooms that have multiple scenarios, you know, three-way, four-way switching, two sensors, three sensors, four sensors, um, makes it easier. All right, and then the last way to accomplish that vacancy setting is with a mini relay panel. Now this is one where 
on projects, a lot of customers put up the most resistance because they say, well, I don't, why do I need this, this little mini relay panel? Well, it's because the things we talked about, we need uh, a bigger room to control with perhaps multiple sensors, multiple zones of light and multiple switch locations, and then also dimming. So that mini relay panel is just going to simply take that signal when we have our off, those sensors report back vacant, shuts the lights off automatically. It's a simple way to do it. But again, understanding vacancy is really helpful. It saves energy and it's an important part of the energy code. As always, thanks for watching and let me know if I can help with any of your lighting control projects. Take care.